So we might be living through a world recession in the year 2022. Our crypto bags not doing so hot. Our stock bags absolutely bleeding. Our NFTs? Well, let's talk about it. People are still finding ways to make generational wealth throughout Web3, throughout NFTs, throughout pictures of this, this, and that. So I want to talk about some upcoming projects on the Solana blockchain that I think are going to have a huge impact on the ecosystem going into the next week. And of course, these are just my personal opinions and should not be taken as financial advice. I'm not a licensed financial advisor. I'm a dude making videos in my room about NFTs. Like the video for good luck. Comment down below for the algorithm. Subscribe or yo, um, the creeper is going to blow up your house in minecraft boom <laughs> let's get it so i'd be an absolute madman if i did not talk about rifters before they minted on october 3rd 2022 and i know i know before i hop into the actual project and give you the alpha before the alpha i want to show you guys the pfps i think these pfps are some of the coolest looking fucking art we've seen on solana to this very day I am personally just blown away with how these look. It's like that Viking fucking warriors, heroes. There, there's a bunch going on in these art PFPs. I think they fit the narrative almost perfectly. I love this one as well. We haven't seen too many of these, but what we've seen so far look incredible. S tier artwork. The Rifters website as well. We do have a white paper to go over and we do have a bunch of information, including a $1 million prize pool. If you guys do not know what Rifters is, it's going to be a community first game. So that's going to be the studio behind this project, a sister company and built by some of the members of Community 3. Andrew Wranglin, the president of Community 3, is actually the project lead behind Rifters and C1. So throughout the Rifters ecosystem, you'll be able to use your NFT as a character in their game, Kalenvale. But you can also use other characters when playing the game, like Teos, Kets on Crack, Community 3, Degenerate Ape Academy, SMBs, Astrals, and more. You're able to fight, explore, steal, get different rewards and lootations behind the entire protocol of the game. And they're going to have their own on-chain currency as well, DRS or Dark Soul Runes. And then there will be a diamond and gold currency, which is going to be their in-game currency. This is, however, going to be a 10 Solana mint price. It is going to be rather expensive for the current market in time, around 300, 330 bucks at the current moment. But I think it makes sense. I think what Rifters is doing is something completely new. They have the game already ready. Things are already in place to have ready to go on mint date. I think it's dropping a week after mint. And throughout C1 and Rifters, the entire team, or well, majority of the team are already well established in the ecosystem as they have worked on Community 3. I, I think it's a no-brainer play. I think these things can do very well, even at a 10 soul mint price. But for being able to mint the first collection of the Exiles, getting that character, being able to play in the game for every single season, and you're getting airdrops equivalent to that 10 soul price over time on Solana and cross-chain throughout other blockchains, I think Rifters has done something fucking huge here. They've grown extremely extraordinary quickly and they're giving away one million dollars from the mint funds to their first prize pool rifters 77 77 supply 10 soul mint price october 3rd not financial advice let me know your thoughts as well down below love the artwork love the idea it looks fucking sick and smooth really we're looking forward to seeing how this game plays out as we've been in a space where a lot of web3 games haven't taken off we've seen many fail especially on the solana blockchain so will rifters make a change eh, we'll see in about three days two days one day something like that so the next project that i do want to talk about is going to be trog they are minting on october 4th on the hyperspace launch pad so trog is going to be launching on the hyperspace launch pad at a 71 71 collection at a 1.11 solana mint price from their guaranteed all the way to their public phases Trog is creating a community-driven learning application educational platform with weekly or bi-weekly or monthly subscription plans for access. We do have a few sneak peeks here as well. We see an Ethereum symbol up top on this little Stonehenge guy. We have a couple of clouds as well, some of the PFPs as well on the page, and we have Enter the Cave. Again, there is a lot of scenery behind this project. Their white paper does go more into detail behind the project, but I love scenery. I love mystery. I love stuff like this. It just gives a storyline behind the project. And Trog has been building up very quickly. I think it's tro.gg or Trog. I'm not 100% sure. So throughout this, they are going to have other opportunities to earn airdrops and earn money through their process called In Days. You'll be able to connect your wallet, view everything around their entire platform. And if you're actually considered a teacher of their platform, you'll be earning 50% of the revenue you bring in. And the more airdrops you hold, the more you get throughout their snapshots, you'll be able to earn a higher percentage. So it kind of goes into play here. Holding three of the future airdrops is an extra 10% of money back. Five of them is going to be 20% back. And then 10 of these future airdrops will be 50% back. So it does kind of go into an affiliate sort of marketing for their platform, but also giving you a teacher 
more of a revenue kickback. Uh, the project does have some very nice lore as well. Again, we're seeing a lot of story-driven projects at the current moment in time. Overall, I think Trog's been pretty hyped up. I'm not a huge fan of the artwork, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say it's my favorite or it's super S tier, in my opinion. I'm just not a huge fan of it, not to bash or FUD. But I do think Trog has built out a very nice community, a very nice platform, and I'm very excited to see how it goes after Mint. I'm uh, looking forward to a 7171 supply at a very cheap Solana Mint price as well during a bear market. So we'll see how they grow, see how they build, do your own research, and I'm looking forward to it. All right, so I've got to talk about it while I'm here. People have been asking about the experiments collection, asking about the experiments hearts and everything in between. For anyone that does not know, the experiments white paper has been fully released. This goes over everything from the collection, the artwork, details of our educational hub, what kind of DAO and platform we'll be able to have out there for holders, our SaaS marketplace as well, our generation zero being the hearts, our staking tokenomics, rewards on chain and off chain, the marketplace, as we mentioned earlier, uh, it just goes in detail about everything we have out there. So if you guys want to read up on the white paper, link is in the Discord, link is on our Twitter. Uh, we'll talk about the hearts. People have been asking the hearts. What are they? What do they do? What's going on with these? This is going to be a 500 supply of the experiment hearts. This will be dropping on October 4th, 2022. So in about three days from recording this video and a little bit of detail around the hearts. It's going to be a 500 supply at a 1.5 Solana mint price. We're allocating every OG in experiments to mint the heart first. We have about 540 OG to users at the current moment in time. As you guys know, transitioning from my Patreon Web2 DAO to an NFT project leads to a lot of different things we can do outside of a Web2 platform. So if you were in the Patreon, you were guaranteed OG. And so for that being, you would have the opportunity to get this heart mint. If it doesn't mint out in OG, it'll go to whitelist. Holding one of these hearts from the fourth to the experiment's main collection mint, you will get a free experiment airdropped to your wallet that holds the heart. Uh, heart holders will also have early staking access as well. You'll be earning 2.5 EXP a day. And there's also going to be a little bit of a secret hidden utility as well to hearts that we can't reveal yet. Uh, but there's also going to be 10% of these hearts or 50 of them revealing with a different color, a golden tint. I haven't shown them yet, but 50 of these will receive something extra. A uh, private heart section as well, different raffles, giveaways, alpha, whitelist, etc. There's going to be allocations for these uh, gener generation zero holders. So that's coming on the 4th. Again, guys, read up on the white paper. Check it out for yourselves. New sneak peeks as well on the way. Faction 5 coming soon. Now let's talk about Magic Eden. We were seeing almost 100k volume every single day for pff, almost a week. We were doing like 90 to 100k volume. Down to 62k volume on the day. I know uh, Solana Network was down for a few hours, quite a few hours. Solana's still at 33 bucks. Not bad. It, it's what it is, right? But we've seen some crazy shit in the market. So deads. This is the collection that caught me by surprise recently. These things pumped from two Solana to 40. I, pff, wow. Probably one of the biggest fumbles I've made to date. People shield these during streams in the discord. I was like, I'm not a huge fan of the artwork. And that's all I really said. I didn't look into it myself. I fumbled the back here and they're at fucking 40 now, man. What happened? <laughs> and looking at them now, I do really like the artwork. I think they look sick. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I misjudged the project. That's on me. Uh, but damn, 50k volume, 40 soul floor price, making fucking waves. Jelly Rascals up to a 70 Solana floor price. Shouts out to fucking Carlos, man. I love it, bro. Love seeing what you're doing, bro. I fumbled. I, I sold a rank nine for like 120. I'm sorry, Carlos. Yeah, bro. I hold my one of one jersey one. I will never sell that thing ever. But I mean, bro, there's like, what, 30 listed? Yeah, 30 listed. 70 fucking floor price. Going crazy, bro. I'm hyped to see this. Oh, and huge news. They just dropped the royalties from, I think, 8% to 0%. Zero. 0% zero creator royalties on Rascals. Carlos, fucking saint of the century in the Solana blockchain. My God. But yo, this video is getting pretty long. I appreciate you guys for watching. I know I haven't uploaded in like 10, 11 days now. I've been super busy on experiments. If you guys want to check out any of the projects I talked about, not financial advice, links are down below. Check out my NFT experiments, Soul on Twitter. Website soon, lore soon, white papers out, hearts are out. Well, not minted, but the details are out. And I appreciate you guys for the support, the love. I'll see y'all next time. Have a great day. Peace out.